Good morning, everyone. Miss Chelsea here from the Grandview Heights Public Library to share some baby tips and activities with you today that you can do from home. So this first rhyme that I'm going to share with you is called Way Up in the Sky, and I actually learned it from a patron a couple years ago uh, during our baby game story time. So for this one, you can do it at different times of the day, of course, but you might want to put baby um, on your lap or maybe when they're first waking up in the morning, this can be a good one to do to kind of gently wake them up and have some nice uh, words about um, the sky and birdies and stuff. So here it is. Way up in the sky, the little birds fly. Way down in the nest, the little birds rest. With a wing on the left, right and a wing on the left the birdies are sleeping all through the night Shh. the bright sun comes up the dew falls away good morning good morning the little birds say and come down for some tickles for baby all right so that's a super fun one there's a lot of variations out there if you look online um Sometimes you can sing it, you might have some slightly different words or different actions, but I thought it was a super cute one and wanted to share with you guys today. So next, I'd like to talk about um, grasp when babies start to want to grasp toys or other objects. So around month three, um, baby is most likely going to show some interest in grasping toys and objects. Now they're not going to be very successful at it at first and that's okay, um, but you know they're going to be working on strengthening those hand and finger muscles uh, to help and this will help improve coordination and capture baby's attention. So uh, you want to use some lightweight toys. Um, if you want to um, the lightweight toys will help, uh, you know, get different finger positions and hand positions around things, use different objects to help with that. Um, there's a couple that you can make around the house. So if you take a paper towel roll or a uh, toilet paper roll um, and just slice them so they're like in little circles and put those in a basket for baby to reach for, that can work out well. Um, if you have some colorful loofahs, um, that's like kind of a different fun material for baby to kind of grasp and the colors uh, will probably capture baby's attention as well. Now there are toys made for this, um, so you can certainly get those. Um, and that, you know, like if you have stacker and shape toys, those are probably too um, old of toys for uh, three months to be using, but you can try to put those in the basket and use them for um, some grasping activities. So just some ideas about that and ways to help your baby be able to grasp toys. Um, if you have baby on your lap, kind of like this, um, where they can hold their head up a little bit or on a tummy time pillow, that way they can reach out and uh, be grabbing for items that you put in front of them. If they're able to sit on your lap um, with their head up, on their own a little bit, then you can do that and put a basket in front and kind of encourage you to model what you um, are trying to get them to do. Like, oh, grab that. Um, or if you have baby laying on their side, um, that is a great position for grasping toys because it encourages the two hands to come together at the midline, which is the center of the body. And um, those, that kind of play pr actually promotes brain development by stimulating the two hemispheres of the brain to communicate and coordinate. So that's a great um, brain building activity as well as uh, building strength in those hands. And while um, you're having baby work on these activities, you can make up a little song. I just made up a quick little thing um, to the tune, Are You Sleeping? Um, just to kind of help encourage them. So can, mine goes like this. Reach and grab it, reach and grab it. It's so fun, it's so fun. I know you can do it. Go ahead and try it. Reach and grab, reach and grab. And say, and encourage your baby, say yay, after they have um, been able to reach and grab some of these items that they're working on. All right, we are going to end with a lullaby, and it's called I Love You. We're going to say the I Love You part first in Spanish, which is Yo Te Amo, then in French, Je T'aime, and then in English at the end. So here we go. Yo te amo, yo te amo. All day long I'll sing this little song for you. 
Yo te amo, yo te amo, darling, I love you. Now in French, je t'aime, je t'aime. All day long I'll sing this little song for you. Je t'aime, je t'aime, darling, I love you. I love you, I love you. All day long I'll sing this little song for you. I love you, I love you. Darling, I love you. And that's all I have for you today. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.